Before we get started, subscribe to my channel. Well, I'm in the process of uh, renewing my certification for my CWI. I'm a certified welding inspector, and this is the nine year renewal. So I've been a CWI since 1996. So every three years you have to send in, do an application and pay money and get your renewal. But every nine years you have to do the same thing. Plus you got to take some continuing education and they call them PDHs, which is professional development hours. Or you could take, uh, if you teach, you could use your training. Um, and if you've taught 80 hours of training, it could be welding, it could be inspection or anything like that. You are exempt. You just have to send in your syllabus or you got to fill out this form right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a form right here. You have to fill out showing that you taught courses and when you taught it and what courses you taught. So you can be exempt from getting those PDHs uh, and those things get expensive. So I'm going to walk you through the process uh, and you're going to see what I see. We're going to go and uh, do my renewal. And be before you start your renewal process, make sure you have your eye exam done, which uh, I have that done. And make sure you got a passport type photo. So you're going to have to upload that information when you're going through the process. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into AWS, www.aws.org. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and log in. So here at the top, I'm going to hit log in. So I'm going to hit certifications right here. I'm going to go to apply wizard. And right here, you put in your name and it always, ha it, it already have my name information in it. So like what company, Lone Star College, I put, put my address and everything, your phone number. So you can go through that and fill up the process. And right here, I'm going to upload a new photo. So I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to browse, find my CWI information. I got a photo right here. So I'm going to double click. That's my new updated photo. It didn't change much. I guess I don't age. But we're gonna go everything's correct make sure everything's correct and hit save and continue once you've done that right here i'm certifying with the aws uh, api 1104 what section they told me to come here since it's my nine year renewal i'm gonna go with the 80 professional development hour like i said i can use my training uh, that I teach at the college, I can use that information. And they may want me to upload a syllabus, but I'm gonna give them less information as as I can. If they need more, I'll send it. So I'm gonna go PDA, uh, PDF professional hours, development hours. <clears throat> and it automatically defaults to English. And this right here, this ADA, it's, I called them and they said that if you're taking the test going into the school it's for like if you have any disabilities you want to fill out this form and submit it and she told me I could just skip this step for her. so I'm gonna save and continue renewal or recertification by none exam come down here professional development hours Ooh, look how much the membership fee is now. I'm a member. It's seven hundred and twenty dollars. I think I used to pay five hundred and something dollars, but um, this membership right here, uh, this nine year, is seven hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, okay, I'm gonna hit save and continue. So I'm gonna add. So I'm just make this simple teach welding and inspection classes and make sure that safety is our main focus and go through here and hit save so I got that job in so I'm gonna upload this form right here just to see if they want the um, See, I have my syllabus in there, everything, but those syllabus is pretty long. One of them 17 pages and the other one eight pages. 
So I'm gonna just enter the this one right here, college classes taught by me. That's that form I show you online. So I'm gonna pull that one and additional documents. I don't think they would need any additional documents. And I'm gonna put the visual my eye exam. So I'm gonna browse that. Complete it right here. The eye exam. Let me hit save and continue. I think as long as they get that seven hundred and twenty dollars, they're probably not too concerned about all the syllables. But if they are, I'll update you guys and put a comment in the description and let you know I, I had to upload the syllables. So they're saying that you read the QC1. I read the QC1, which states that as a trainer, uh, it was, I wrote it down here, it's 16.4.5 trainers for teaching so I can get my hours without going and paying almost $2,000 to AWS to take their uh, renewal course. So I test and I agree. Save and continue. Oh, now it's time to pay. So, and hit submit. And there you go. It says paid. So status says paid. Uh, CWI API 1104, the PDH, professional development hours, because I teach. And that's it. So I should be getting some updates from AWS saying that uh hey we got your money we fit to send your package so the package is probably going to include the stamp and you're going to get your little plaque that you can put on the wall and you're going to get a certification card saying you're good for another three years and i think this payment that i made includes a three-year aws membership fee also so that's all to it so you can do that online it's that easy instead of going around filling out these forms and getting them notarized getting in the rain the weather you could do all of this online like i said i had to get my first nine year renewal was in 2005 so i filled out the application and i i took the part b exam uh, because i didn't know nothing about taking pd H's, I don't know, even know if they had it back then. So I had to take the part B again to re-qualify for my nine years. Second nine years was, was in 2014. So I did the PDFs or I did my training from Lone Star saying that I teach. And this third time is 2023. My next, my third nine re, uh, renewal. And I'm doing the same thing as I did in 2014. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications and share this video. Also leave comments. Thanks for watching, welding and stuff.